Hello, odd people. So as you know, this is the uh, odd group. And, uh, and sometimes we say things that are odd and people wonder, like, I can't believe I'm hearing this. Oh, what do you mean? What do you mean you don't care about deliveries? What do you mean the problem is not demand? What do you mean this and what do you mean that? And when we say, well, the only problem we have is shorts. Uh, yeah, I mean, that, that's because this is the, you know, the odd investor channel and we say odd stuff and we are odd people. It's really as simple as that. Uh, in, in my uh, opinion, we really need to revisit this, um, what's happening, okay? Like for today, Neo is up, uh, you know, like considerable amount. Um, so what happened to the deliveries? What happened to the deliveries? What happened to the fact that January deliveries were 44% less than December? There was an article on that. What happened to the other one? Stay away 500 feet from uh, Neo, from that icon, icon guy. What happened to that? What happened to CCP? What happened to the fact that uh, NIO is Chinese? Is it not Chinese? Did, did it change its nationality now? What happened to all of that? That's see, the, see, the thing is, it's all trading. It's all trading. You see, the, uh, um, you have to take a step back and look at the whole picture. NIO has over $8 billion in cash. Without taking the, uh, you know, the, the, doing the math for Q4 uh, losses and GAC and some other stuff, NEO is supposed to have $8.4 billion in cash. So NEO's business is, uh, NEO is continuing its business as usual. There is no effect whatsoever. So this uh, stuff about... Uh, rumors and talk and all of that it's all to take your own money the american money it has nothing to do with ccp and Q, qcp and ctq and all that you know nonsense talk it has nothing to do with any of that it's all about money it's all about money so uh what happened to the lines these lines <laughs> I actually was shocked to see YouTubers talking about, about lines uh, who support uh, NEO or with NEO. I don't know. I'm not, I don't understand this. It's not one. Few. Few. Uh, you, they look at it. Uh, the Bollinger uh, uh, line or, uh, or the trend or the, you know, the moving average or the, you know, the, this line or that line. I don't know. Maybe I'll stay away. Maybe. I don't know. You see that? That's the thing, you know, you need, <laughs> you need to be careful of these lines. These lines, I am sure I can bet a cup of coffee, okay? I don't bet, but I'll bet a cup of coffee that um, some of you sold something. It doesn't have to be the whole thing, just something. I, I bet you, because when you see things about if, the stock if the if the stock value breaks this line this support line then you are in uh, you know in uncharted territories we don't know nobody knows nobody knows and i actually made a video on the bottom line and i warned that you gotta check this one okay the bottom line the bottom line check it and i said you have to take a step back and think about these things. These things are twisted to serve shorts, to serve traders and shorts. They are not good for uh, retail investors because you don't know. As a retail investor, you got sucked into this trading game. You, you get pulled into it and, and, and you don't believe in it. You don't know how it uh, uh, operates. You don't know the limits. You don't know anything about it. So you got you, 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 you end up playing a game that's not yours by saying, well, you are in uncharted territory. Yeah, that's a new one. That's a new one. <laughs> so, so what happened? Uh, so uh, uh, the, the, if you take a step back, the way to think about this as an odd guy is that, well, it's an uncharted territory. Means territory that 
uh, you've never been in, that you have no limits, you don't know, you don't, whatever. But also the shores are in uncharted territories. It's actually the shores who brought it to this uncharted territories. So if anything, it would be scary for shorts too. Think about it. Think about it. This is what I said. Watch that video. Watch that video. Everything I say in any of the videos is odd. That video. And anything, anything I say, I, I consider it as, hey, you know, these are the thoughts at the moment. This is uh, really important to uh, go back and see because then you can see the value. It's not important to come back after the fact. It's not important to support new after new went up, for example, or to warn you about new when new is down to the bone. That's not that's not a good thing to do. You're basically following the trend, and you you know you just want to show that, hey, you know this is this is what it is. Let's be honest about it, or uh, final warning, or Wall Street top line, bottom line, side line, junk line. That's that. These these are the things. The thing is, you you say the right thing, like I said before. Uh, no matter what, no matter what. And the other thing is, you take responsibility. Any decision you make, you should just uh, understand that this is a decision that you, uh, that you made. Sometimes people lose almost all their money uh, within a second. How does this hip happen? How does it happen? Well, I tell you how. 3.59 p.m. You decide to put, let's say, all your money in a stock that, that, that is supposed to report earnings and the stock crashes afterwards. So you lose all your money, especially if you have margin. Decision. Sometimes it just, it's all about a few seconds or a minute and makes a difference in your life. Think about it. So, where are we going with this? Well, I tell you what, I told you in the past, I do not believe in lines at all. And I actually was mad at Tesla for uh, playing the game of um, Wall Street lines. And I mentioned that a couple times already. Uh, I don't believe in these following this set, uh, you know, moving averages and uh, support and resistance and all that junk. I actually, I, you know, of course, you know, I know it. I, I could look at it like, okay, I can see. So, so what's the point? What's the point? You need, you know, have you ever seen Warren Buffett, uh, uh, you know, showing you a graph and telling you, well, if, if, if the stock is on this uh, resistance, then you do this and you do that. Have you ever seen him? say something like this that's not investment that's a trader so this talk about lines and stuff like that that is actually mostly 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 ish traders and shorts guys believe me i like i said this is my opinion this is this is uh, odd talk okay free yourself from these stupid lines these imaginary lines that actually if you draw enough imaginary lines you can make a box you can make a box and you can live in that box it's an imaginary box that doesn't exist and you're trapping yourself in it just like tesla trapped itself in wall street imaginary lines and became actually uh, tied up uh, to people who don't even understand the business honestly honest to god they really don't understand the business at all and they they destroyed uh, a company that is magnificent company it was shocking to see and uh, hopefully and i really hope that tesla will recover from this these guys care about pennies you know pennies it would be dollar 23 cents and if it's dollar 21 Oh my God, you know, the company loses like $700 trillion or something. Yeah, they lost by two pennies. They didn't meet the, uh, <coughs> excuse me, uh, the analyst, uh, uh, you know, expectation. Analyst, analyst, my analyst. Free yourself from these lines. Free yourself from these lines. Think of the model. Think of outside the box. Take yourself outside this imaginary box and uh, think as a, 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 in the sense of a model. Where are we going? 
Where are you going? Compare, for example, today uh, Deutsche Bank uh, raised um, Lee Otto's uh, uh, stock price, and I didn't even read it. I didn't even I didn't even click on that. I was like, really, you really you're raising uh, hybrid? Uh, are you serious? Is this a serious? Yeah, you see what I mean. You, you see what I mean? It's it's it doesn't make any sense. You have to go with the pure. You have to go with the model. Some people say, well, you know, if you have you have great technology, but it's if it doesn't pay for you, then you basically you're toying with or something. Do you actually think that a company like New is uh, just toying or or uh, creating hobbies, like a phone, for example? Do you actually know what it means to have a phone for the for the uh, for the EV industry or for your for your company? Hello. Do you actually do you actually know the 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 significance of that? To have a phone? Do you know the significance of having the chip? The, of course not. You think these are toys? Hey, where are the bottom lines? Where are the where's the benefit? I want to see the benefit we just we just got these things designed. We just have them. We, we, they, this, these are recent. How can you uh, monetize them so quickly? Be patient, uh, uh, investor. Or uh, sorry, uh, short. Be patient. This is the game. These guys. They always they play down these magnificent work. They play it down and they push up junk. Pure garbage, such as uh, January deliveries, 44% uh, uh, below December. That is nothing but pure garbage. Hey, but it is what it is. But you cannot compare it, you know, and spread it on the internet and let people know because they get scared. Some people get hammered with this. That, hey, last month they were doing better than this month. Get away from these lines and these things. Focus. The vision should be like this. Model, period. You look at the model and look what the company is doing to build its own model. That is, that is the bottom line. Oh, yeah. Speaking of the bottom line, that is the bottom line. The model, building the model for the future of the company. That's the message. Okay, well... Uh, never financial advice. Thank you. Bye-bye.